All right, hello everyone. This is Rich, and I am here with a uh, Blu-ray and a DVD update for December 2nd, 2009. Uh, it's been about two weeks or so, two or three weeks. Uh, so let's get started. I got a lot of fucking movies. Uh, first I'll do, I'll do the Blu-rays. I got three of them here, and pretty much I, they're just rehashings of DVDs I had. Uh, I got all these from my girlfriend, she's awesome. Uh, Trick or Treat Blu-ray. Uh, looks a lot better, a lot clearer. Um, now that anything different, I don't believe, um, from the DVD release, other than it has the BD Live feature. That's the only thing I see the difference for. The thing, I don't know if it's just me, but the inside of these really suck. There's no, at least in the Blu-rays that I got, there's no, like, little book, and there's not any, like, chapter sleeves in them. I don't know if anyone else has come to that, saw that, and like it here. I really, you don't get shit. Next one is a movie that I talked about before. I think the same day I did a review for Trick or Treat, which was um, El Super Bisto, um... I guess the newest of Rob Zombie's films, uh, cartoon, Ren Stimpy type style, totally awesome. I think it's really good. Uh, has Sherry Moon Zombie in it, uh, Rosario Dawson, uh, Paul Giamatti, Brian Posehn, and a bunch of other people. Uh, Bill Mosley's in there, Sid Haig. Um, Totally recommend this one too. Uh, the Blu-ray make it just a lot clearer picture. It's like watching it on HD, um, you know, like HD. Oh, oh, check it out. To me, like, there's no difference. I don't know. There's a difference, but there isn't a difference in cartoons on Blu-ray compared to the DVD. Uh, next one is one that I just watched last. I watched the entire Blu-ray of this last night. Judge the movie. Um, I was blown away with this uh, Blu-ray, which I totally recommend. It's $15 on Amazon. If you have a Blu-ray player and you're a fan of horror movies, get this fucking movie. Uh, Night of the Creeps. Uh, Fred Decker. I think his name's Fred, right? So yeah, Fred Decker. Guy did uh, Monster Squad. Directed this. Awesome film. There's a fucking great-ass, uh, like, um... I don't know, like, documentary type thing that's in, like, five or six parts on here. Uh, commentary with Fred Decker. It's the only thing I didn't watch. Um, the original ending, deleted scenes, which, they're kind of cool. Um, and a whole thing about, uh, Tom Atkins' character. Uh, so recommend this. This is probably one of the best Blu-rays that I own. I only own, like, a good couple, but this one was packed full of cool stuff. Uh, get it. The only thing I don't like about this is the fucking cover. This cover, let's see if I can get it right, this cover reminds me of something that was made like I Know What You Did Last Summer type style and if you've seen that cover you know what I mean where it's just like all the characters just like looking like and, like, and then you see like, they, they, like a killer or some sort of villain in there. Alright, those are all the Blu-rays I got. Now on to my DVDs. This one I got myself a good Criterion here for $15, my friends, $15. Videodrome. Uh, I watched all the, like, almost everything on the supplemental second disc, and I started watching the uh, cast commentary, or James Wood's commentary, on the second disc, or the first disc. Yeah, awesome stuff. Um, there's a big-ass booklet in here. It's like 40 pages of just shit about the movie. Really cool. Um, if you're a fan of this movie, I just totally suggest getting this Criterion version. Um, just the artwork for the... I mean, look at that. It looks like a video, video cassette, almost like a beta cassette, almost. Oh, awesome. That's all I gotta say. I'll tell you, Criterion does some great stuff, man. Um... Uh, there's a great bunch of featurettes on here. These, they show all the Videodrome scenes on the second disc. They show that Samurai Dreams uh, thing that James Woods is trying to pitch in the beginning of the movie. Uh, different stuff, different special effects stuff that's really cool. Um, totally check it out. I've seen this um, 
I seen it online for varied prices. See it for thirty-five. I seen it for forty-five. I see it for sixty-five. And I seen it for ninety-nine. So I got mine at a flea market, <laughs> and it was brand new. It's still in this little packaging here. I took off this little part here so I could take it out, but yeah, it was brand new in the fucking package. So that's awesome. Next, since the new V series was out, I decided uh, I need to brush up on my old V. So I went and got all the V stuff. We got V, the original miniseries, which is a sticker on it. Oh, shit. Stupid stickers. I just got this in today from Deep Discount. I think I paid seven bucks for it. Um, v, the final battle, which is like a one I got for a dollar. Um, it was good. I mean, the case is kind of fucked. You see all that fray shit there. But I mean, the, the DVDs are excellent. Um, and this one I got at Target, the series itself, the one that came out in 1985, um, for uh, 15 And I, I didn't see it there again, so they all got taken out. But yeah, it's like all these discs here really cool stuff uh only thing i just didn't like about this is i mean this nothing to do with the dvd itself but just how this series ended i mean it, it had such more opportunity to be what it is and just i gotta say this about the new series that's out i only watched two episodes and i'm not that impressed so far um i know that i think they're coming back next year with some more episodes and i even as i said i only saw the first and third I think there's two, the second and fourth, I didn't see, so. So far, I wasn't that impressed. Uh, next is a Christmas movie. You know how I like my Christmas movies. <sighs> and this one's a doozy. I sent this one to the cinema snob. Uh, Dan Haggerty made a horror movie. And if you don't know what Dan Haggerty is, look up Grizzly Adams. Dan Haggerty in the movie Elves. And it's a horror movie about elves. And the whole kind of plot of this is, is that there's like an underground group of Nazis that want to sort of like, you know, conquer the world kind of again in a way. And what they're doing is they're going to find the perfect female and have it mate with an elf. And with that, they're going to make this sort of new master soldier race that's going to take over the world because uh, the way they explain it in here is that the um that uh they uh elves can't be killed by any like human means like by guns uh nuclear weapons knives anything it can't they can't be killed so they're going to create super soldier to bring apart i guess the fourth Reich. i don't know and then Diane haggerty's job in there is being a mall santa and punching nazis in the face so, if you can find this movie, it's on, just on VHS. Um, I got my copy from my super fan, Super Colton, because he's awesome. Um, and I'm going to be emailing you soon there, Super Colton. I got your email, so if you're watching this. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Check that one out if you can find it. Uh, let's do one more, and then I could be done with this one. Uh, real quick, I got an official copy of Monstered. Um... And essentially, it's a serial murderer, crazy guy, gets chemicals on him, and poo, and turns into this, like, poop monster, and goes around, kind of coming out of toilets and killing people, and it's the job of the sheriffs of that town to kill the monster. It's B-movie in its entirety. If there was USA Up All Night was still on, this movie would be on it. Um, they also made the sequel, The Retard Dead. So... Check it out. I got this for four dollars on a sun cloak, sun coast that was closing. So, all right, this is it for my part one. I got like a billion other fucking DVDs to go. So I'll see you in part two.